Hey everybody, hope all is well and welcome back to the Shabin Life channel. We're here in my garage slash shop. Uh, might look a little familiar to those of you who checked out the, the chicken coop build video. If you didn't, I'll post the link here for you. We're going to build a quick rain collection barrel uh, for the water runoff on the chicken coop roof. And I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. I've done a couple of these now around the house and they work out really well. Uh, super easy to make, super inexpensive. All you really need is pretty much any style trash can with a lid and one of these snap-in floor drains that you can get in the PVC plumbing aisle of pretty much any big box home improvement store. Uh, this is a four inch. Um, it's smooth all the way around rather than some of the other ones that are tapered to fit two, three, four inch style pipe. This is just the inexpensive four inch floor drain that you can find, like I said, in pretty much any plumbing aisle in the big box stores. I'm gonna use a 20 gallon trash can today uh, just because I'm limited in the space underneath the nesting boxes where I wanna slip this to do the rain collection, but I've made them out of pretty much every size trash can um, that, that you can buy. Couple simple things to remember. Uh, I've noticed in the past when I bought these, it works out better when you have the lid that sits flush right onto the trash can. Some of them sit up a little bit or you know the crown of the trash can lid makes it sit a little bit off the trash can. They still work but I like the ones that sit nice and flush on the can. You don't have to mount it to the can. It basically gravity just has it sitting there. Water comes down funnels right through the top of the floor drain into the trash can and it's perfect. I've made them where I've had the the lid mounted down I've had them off the ground where, with a spout on the bottom so that I could fill up watering cans and buckets, and I've since done away with all that. They all sit on the ground. Obviously, they get nice and heavy, so sitting on the ground makes it really you know, convenient. But what I like most about it is that with the way that they're built, I literally just take the lid right off. I dunk my watering can right down in there, fill it up with water, and then I can go pop the lid back on and water down the vegetable garden. And that's how we're going to build this one today. So stick around and we'll rock and roll. All right, so we're just gonna start by tracing out the floor drain on the inside of the lid. So we got a nice circle there so that we can cut along the circle. I'm gonna use a paddle bit just to make a hole to get me started cutting out the actual circle. I'm just using a pair of snips, but you can pretty much, you probably could even cut this with a heavy duty pair of scissors if, if that's all you had. But now we're just gonna cut out the circle. So that's it. We've got the circle cut out and now we're just going to wrap we're going to wrap the floor drain with some screen to just help keep out any of the smaller bugs and debris and then we're going to slip it through. So I just have some leftover netting slash screening that I'm going to use. You pretty much can use anything. Cut it a little long so that you can wrap your hands around and kind of make it into a point that'll make it nice and easy to slip through the trash can lid. And now we basically have the drain mounted in, in the top of the lid, or I should say on the inside of the lid. And then I just pulled the screening, you know, somewhat tight. That way it pulls all the wrinkles out. I'm going to hold it upside down and I'm just going to use an asparagus band to put around to keep the netting from moving around too much. All right, so there you have it. You've got your lid with your floor drain mounted, wrapped in screen, just to help keep any of the bugs and debris out. You pop your lid back into your can, and now you've got your rain collection barrel. And like I said, 
You certainly can mount these so they're off the ground and put a spout on the bottom, but I've just found that I enjoy the ease of just being able to take the lid off, dunk my watering can in there, fill it up to water things down, and then just pop the lid right back on again. Makes it super simple, super easy. This is super easy to make, super inexpensive. I think between the floor drain and the trash can, it costs about $15, and certainly will go a long way collecting water off the chicken coop roof. So I'll take you outside and we'll pop it underneath the piping. All right, so there's the rain collection barrel underneath the chicken coop. As you can see, the gutter's mounted, and then I just used uh, some Schedule 20 or thin wall s and pipe. I, I use this pipe all day long for work, so I have a bunch of it with fittings. And then basically it just dumps right into the rain barrel. And like I said, you know, it's super easy to just lift up the lid, go in with your um, watering can in order to water down the garden beds. Uh, what I normally do, and I'll do on this one as well, is put an overflow uh, just where the bottom of the lid is about level with the trash can. I'll put an overflow. I just don't want to do it yet because I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to have the overflow run right into the pack of Sandra or if I'm going to have the overflow run into maybe a second collection bucket. But I'll show you over on my other one what I typically do in regards to the overflow. And it works out perfectly fine. It's just a few PVC fittings. So here's another one of the collection barrels. And what I do is I just basically add some PVC fittings. And once it gets to about where the bottom of where that floor drain sits inside the actual lid, it starts to overflow. And then it would just typically run down where the gutter would run down. And then I do the same for... I do the same for this one as well. So there's the overflow on the other one. All right, well that's about all she wrote on the rain collection barrel. Super easy, super simple, uh, super cheap. Uh, great way to just collect some water and use it in the garden. If this is your first time visiting The Shabbin Life, be sure to subscribe and you can check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, thanks again for stopping by and we'll catch you on the next one.